MPs pulled an all-nighter last week, but it wasn't so they could get more work done. It was to avoid a politician's worst nightmare, answering direct questions. <laughs> the Conservatives began to filibuster after the Liberals defeated their motion to have the PM's National Security Advisor answer questions about Trudeau's trip to India. This led to a 21-hour procedural standoff. Each vote was a confidence issue, meaning if the Liberals lost, it would trigger a federal election. So Liberals stayed up all night to avoid the two things that Canadians hate most, elections and being reminded of Trudeau's trip to India. <laughs> right? Now, the MPs did everything they could to stay awake while voting all night long. They danced to Lionel Richie. All night long. <laughs> they thunderclapped and they dabbed. They danced to YMCA. And if someone didn't know how to dance to YMCA, they taught them how to dance to YMCA. Mr. Sims. Shifke. No, I can't blame Melanie Jolie for not knowing YMCA. She's from Quebec. And in French, YMCA is Y-M-C-A. -A, so it's totally different. <laughs> now, after all that dabbing and dancing, Justin's India trip wasn't the only thing that had started to stink. And my staff has just come with gum and deodorant. It's not for me, it's for my colleagues. Things are getting a little stale in there. They're getting stale in there. But the woman behind this, opposition House leader Candace Bergen, was not giving in no matter how late or stinky it got. They did not think we were going to go through with this, right. but they don't they, know us very well. They didn't know they were dealing with Canada's Iron Lady. But even an Iron Lady eventually needs to close her iron curtain and go to bed, and Bergen blinked. I am prepared to soon withdraw many of our remaining motions to allow for staff and members of Parliament to get some rest. But well, Bergen didn't have to worry about members getting their rest, though, because many of them had been asleep for quite some time. <laughs> like MP Seamus O'Regan and James Bazin. <laughs> Opposition House leader Candace Bergen may have felt the filibuster was worth it, but one Conservative MP said a filibuster was a complete waste of time and money. And that filibuster-hating MP was Opposition House leader Candace Bergen. Back in 2011, when she was in Harper's government, the opposition NDP filibustered her for 58 hours. She then tweeted, NDP games are costing $50,000 per hour to keep the House of Commons going. Taxpayer footing the bill yet again. <laughs> 2011 Candace Bergen sure burned 2018 Candace Bergen there. <laughs> because this 21-hour waste of time will end up costing us all $1,050,000 in overtime. Most parties filibuster. Most filibusters are a complete waste of time. They aren't meant to get anything done. They're meant to make it look like opposition MPs are doing something for us. Although, to be fair, one conservative MP did accomplish something. He used his time to write this. Sleep would be best, but I just can't afford the rest. I gotta hold these liberals to account. Just get back to work, you whiny bunch of jerks. <laughs> You're sleeping off each day at your desks. <laughs> Don't miss the best sketches from season 25 and 22 minutes. Subscribe right now and check out more over here. We've also added the worst sketch. Watch all the videos until you find it.